Greetings class, it's Chris Haskins here once again. I'm with the realestateroundup.com. I'm driving, please forgive me. Hanging out with brother Smitty today. What up, Smitty? Hey Chris, thanks for letting me roll with you. Yeah, thanks for helping me, brother. My, uh, my mission statement to raise my my ministry to raise the financial literacy of my fellow man through real estate investing and entrepreneurship today another day guys welcome back my roundupers from time to time people contact me here's another lender that I work with contact people lenders contact me to clean up the mess I got a lender that foreclosed on a house recently and he has to clean it up so he gave me a call Chris I need to go out there and do a inspection and see what work needs to be done to make this house habitable put it back on the market get it back in service so today I'm going to show you a house that I haven't seen yet we're heading out there I want to take a look at what work it needs to be done and I hopefully have a story for you I can tell regarding what happened to this borrower the lender if you go a few videos back and see another house that I helped clean up with a lender people sometimes they lose houses they get foreclosed on it happens the lenders have to take houses back this is the price of doing business Roundup family the price of doing business sometimes deals go bad so I'm hoping that for this particular house is not in too bad a shape <clears throat> but we shall see so I'm gonna we're heading to the property I'm going to do a brief analysis on what needs to be done on the repairs see if we can help uh, this uh, help Mike get this thing put back in shape so we can turn around sell it get his money back I gotta show you this beautiful gorgeous view check this out this is going to be the Chesapeake Bay going out to the Virginia Beach area Atlantic Ocean oh my goodness it looks just drop dead gorgeous today drop dead gorgeous I love sharing this with you so I can bring you in bring you into my world look at that way over there is the James River Bridge and this is all we call it brackish water mixture of salt and fresh water so we get those nasty croaker you eat croaker Smitty? no I do not either I do not like it but uh okay let's get over to this house you got enough footage of that get them out there oh across, way across this Hampton University and then we have Fort Monroe way out there it's a beautiful day today 70 Got the VA hospital over there too. That's where the big Or is that? Yeah. Oh, that's the Chamberlain. Okay, so we're getting closer to the house. I wanted to show you the neighborhood. You can see we have a community store here on the corner, which is never good. Not my favorite thing. You can see trash on the ground. You can see my street is getting real narrow here. A lot of foot traffic on the sidewalks. I got my. I got the homies hanging out on the porch. Never good. Let's see, we're coming here. See, the houses are getting closer together here on your right. Houses getting closer together. Not my favorite type of area. But that's not to say we can't do the dip, you know? Or we can't help out. So as we're coming here, I just feel, you can see this street here, it just feels unwelcoming as I drive through here, you know. I'd rather have a long, a larger street. See a lot of for sale signs here too. Got some rehabs are going. Yeah, some rehabs. You think maybe the neighborhood's starting to change? I don't know. I'm just giving you my opinion on first glimpse, you know. We got somebody I put out here with the whole bedroom set up. In this video, got put This is indicative of an older neighborhood. If you see the houses that are very close to each other. Years ago, the lot dimensions for building were small. Now you see like a newer, a newer build, not new, but anytime you got people hanging out on the, on the, anytime you got the homies hanging out on the front porch is never good. So this is our street here. This is our street. 
So hopefully the house we're going to won't be in that bad of shape. But you got, if you notice here, houses maybe five feet away from each other. I've seen houses that the roof is actually hanging over another house. Oh my lord. People hanging out on the front porch. Radio box blasting. In the middle of the day is 12.30 on a Monday. Here we are here. Oh man. The lot size has to be bigger. So this is the house we're coming to. Let's see if we can get inside. They probably need to cut the grass. First thing I notice is there's no off-street parking. Do you see any parking? No, sir. Could be something there. You got the drill, right? Might be able to get in that piece of wood right there. Looks like we got some moisture damage there. I am nervous about this one. I am very nervous about what we're going to find inside of this one. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Good God Almighty. Windows out upstairs. Windows out up there. What were they changing the windows? You think, Smitty? You think they were changing the windows upstairs? Why are the windows out on the side? I did find a window open. Oh, you did? Okay. So I will meet you at the front door. Nah, Smitty. What? You want to go in? Huh? You gonna go in? What were you? I mean, it's up to you. It's right here. Well, Smitty found, Smitty has found a door, a window that was open. Oh, Lord. You sure, Smitty? Really? Oh, my goodness gracious. Provided I don't fall through the floor because there is no floor here, Chris. Oh, my God. Lord God. Look at this on the video. Well, we did actually do some work in here. Okay. Windows broken up there. Windows broken. Oh my goodness. OMG, brother Chris. OMG, Jesus. <laughs> so what's this notice we got here, Smitty? It was from back in July. And it is now Weeds October. and unsecured vacant property. Wow, okay. They probably had cut down the weeds at one point. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got in here. Oh my goodness. Walk in the front door. Uh oh. Looks like somebody's been hanging out here with. Oh, what is it? What do you call Extracurricular activities, <laughs> I would think. Who's going to give up some. Uh, up here? Oh my lord, Smitty. What what's is that? this here? This is old plumbing we got. Wow. Come on in. So, this is the stuff we have to come clean up. Oh, and Jesus. Yeah, hopefully they don't have asbestos in those bags. That's probably what it is, yep. Asbestos, uh... Oh. Um, no. That was last October. That was a year ago. Trim bushes, front removed, black trash bags, rear of structure. That was these guys. Probably put them in the house. This is probably asbestos in the insulation, right? Uh, I'm not gonna look. Yeah. <laughs> this this would be this flooring. Oh yeah, that's definitely two layers of it too. Let's see what we got back here, Smitty. Oh my Lord God! What can you do with this one, Smitty? Okay, so this is gonna be our new kitchen here. Looks like they plumb some plumbing work. This would have been nice. Looking into your living room with some new kitchen right here. Well, wow. ain't nothing we're gonna do to scare this house. All they gotta do is come through the floor. Look back here. You could've <laughs> just went right here, Smitty. Could've just come in right there. I would've got dirty there. But this <laughs> is our... There's a fantastic oh wiring job right there. Oh my lord. Look, there's zero insulation, zero sheetrock, no electrical. Oh my lord, Smitty. Those windows are... Well, that whole wall's totally rotted out. That Look was, at it. Yeah, see it there. Boeing. The it, it goes right down. Yeah, this is uh this is a don't want. It. Let's see what's upstairs. So these are probably full of asbestos. We don't want to touch this stuff. Probably why they have it in those bags, Smitty. They just didn't just throw it in the dumpster. 
You hear that? You hear that? When you have people screaming in the hood, cursing at each other. You are in the hood. You want to come on here, Smitty, get a little bit of this action? I don't want to get shot. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back inside. <laughs> I don't want to get him on camera. Watch out. We had, no, no, I don't want to get him either, but we could have played it off while he was getting me. Let's see what you got upstairs. Oh, that's, that's why they used 2 by 6s was so that they would have some continuous structure I like that idea, Smith. for strength. I like this. So we got two bedrooms up here, it looks like. This thing is just rotting in as far. I mean, this is where that came down more for that kitchen. Yeah. When I still got my man screaming out there, Smitty. Anytime you got somebody screaming two, three doors down, you're in trouble. <laughs> this is wow. going to be the new proposed bathroom, I presume. I think this was the previous bathroom. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, it definitely was, Chris, because you got the stack right outside the window. Okay. And... Drain there that probably went right into it. This oh, yeah, that was a pedestal sink. Yeah. That's some good drama here, Smith. Maybe I'll stand by the window and see if we can get them. Nah, let's go. All right. So that's, like that's a live soap opera you hear there. Yeah. We got new framing going on here, but I don't know why they would do framing interior, Smith, before doing framing on the exterior walls. Inexperience. This is not in true electrical, guys. Let me show you this. You want to get rid of all of this in any house, you better either run or get rid of it. This stuff here is a hundred year old knob and tube electrical. Remember, we had to pull that, pull that out of the last house my, uh, the lender had. It's all over there, Smitty. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw it over there. You need to pull that out. It is a death trap waiting to happen. Let's get out of here, man. I think we've seen enough. There used to be a door there. Yeah. You're right. <clears throat> Which... How much is that going to be? This person that bought this had no idea what they were in for. They... Uh -oh. Somebody's really pissed. I hope they're not doing this other drug thing. 